I'm going to start with bacon in the pan and then some onion and we'll see what happens. Good morning. I was just sitting at my desk doing my best and painting and then when I was finished doing my best, Harry kind of walked by and went, Rrrr. he makes these little cute sounds. And he's already purring. Oh, you just needed some love? Of course. <laughs> oh, this is a really good way to start a morning. We love you. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good morning. And if you're having a hard morning, I hope that this peaceful little minute can help you to find a moment of peace as well. Oh. What are you looking at? Good morning, guys. <laughs> also, while I sit here and listen to this adorable cat purring right beside me, I am loving Peter repotted. We had three cacti in one larger pot, and one of them was rotting. So he separated their roots and put this single one in this pot and I love it. We both are really loving it. You'd think that one skinny cactus in a pot would look funny, but it is so cute. You can see how much it's grown since we bought it. It was this tall when we bought it and then it has grown that much in about a year. So that's really impressive. I didn't know how quickly cactuses can grow. The unfortunate uh, part about this timing is that Peter and Ollie are out on a walk and my blood sugar seems like it might start dropping here soon, so I'm probably going to have to get up and deal with that, but I don't want to break up the sweetness. Let me see, let me just check it real quick. <clears throat> Been real but I gotta break this up buddy <clears throat> so you walk did you have a good walk did you have such a good walk Bonzi hey babe you actually got home like right in time what can you hear me those glucose tabs oh my gosh <laughs> about to have to get up. Oh man. Peter and the oh, glucose you too. tabs. Do you have a shot of this? I, that yeah. is like, he is like, I am royal, give me snugs. <laughs> yeah, I finished my vest and he basically walked by and was like, <laughs> snugs. <laughs> you wow. sound interested, or you look interested in these, but these he, are. He wants to sniff anything you open. You open a water bottle, he wants to sniff it. You open glucose tabs, he wants to sniff it. Where's that pen? Can you hand me that pen? Last night you wanted to sniff the pen. You want to sniff the pen? Here you go. Not as interested. Last night he was like... <laughs> what is that thing? That's funny. Thank well, you, babe. Yep, Ollie and I just got back from a walk. It was good. It's a nice day. Really? Yeah. What? What's What's that? Maybe I'll chop the um, oh. brushes. Nice. That'd be good. Alrighty. Those are kind of sour in a sort of way. <laughs> in a sort of way. Okay, Harry got up and I just thought, I'm going to make soup. I was thinking about it late last night. I almost made soup late at night, but then I was already in bed, so never mind. But I'm going to start with bacon in the pan and then some onion and we'll see what happens. So far, we have some sizzling bacon in the pan. I pulled these things out of the freezer. Chopped up celery and carrots. This is 
kale. I think they're both kale. And I really like putting kale in this sort of ribolita style soup. And I'm gonna crunch it all up. When it's frozen, you can crunch it up really, really easily. I'm gonna chop up some purple cabbage because that's what I have. I'm gonna chop up some onion and I'm gonna use beef, beef broth. The thing is, I have no canned tomato products. I do have some tomato soup, but I do not think that's going to translate. So I might Google a little bit and find out if there are any other ideas. We'll just see how it turns out. It's going to be fine. And I was thinking we could put some of Peter's brisket that he smoked in the soup. I think he will really enjoy that and I'll enjoy it too. started our marriage with burned bacon, smoky, smoky house. And even after celebrating 10 years of marriage, I smoked up the house just a week ago. So I'm learning low and slow, low, low, low for bacon if you do it on the stove top, but I usually just do bacon in the oven on a sheet pan, Google it, bacon in the oven, and it'll tell you like 350 for 20 minutes or something like that and that works really well for me so but i did not make it smoky in the house today whoop, whoop. maybe these carrots and celery stayed in the freezer just a little too long but i think it's gonna be fine it's in soup it's gonna be fine totally fine oops and then some garlic and then some kale, but the only problem is, Peter, Peter what? just came What's down. What's the problem? I don't have any tomato products. You don't have any tomato products? Um, interesting. Yeah, we'll see okay. how that works out. Okay, here's where we're at so far. I just put some salt and pepper, and now I think I'm ready to pour the broth in. I don't really know where I'm going here. It's gonna be great. Oh, and I asked Peter and he thought putting brisket was a great idea. Okay, here's where I'm at. I found some tomato paste and then I found some uh, pizza sauce frozen in the freezer. So we'll see how it goes. I just got a naan out of the freezer, put some butter, like garlic butter on top, mm -hmm. and put it in the toaster. And wow, our soup looks black from here. That's weird. It's, it's what, what's the, what's the pudding? Ew! Black pudding? Or? Peter! Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's like oatmeal with blood in it yeah. from Scotland. And then some Parmesan. Ooh, this looks so good. 
I'm so glad. It has brisket and a little bit of bacon on top. Nice. This one's actually mine. Yours okay. is more full. Okay, I'll grab mine. You switch it. I, it is doing the clicking thing. It maybe is? it's a problem. Yeah, I was actually thinking maybe you need to go to. Are you hearing clickings? We've been noticing the camera makes some noise, like the autofocus is noisy. But I did notice the mm -hmm. other day when I was filming a bird, I was able to zoom in as far as I wanted. And over the last year, I had not been able to do that. I was like, I know it used to zoom in more. It has some issues. I was gonna say something. The soup, we didn't give a review. It was good. You liked it? Mary's soup is always good. I didn't love it, but really? it fed me. I ate the whole bowl. It was a conduit of eating brisket and cheese. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it worked out. It did work out. I don't know. Okay, we need to go pick up a medication from the pharmacy and... Yeah, so. That's what we gotta do. Let's go. I think I remember what I was gonna say. We filmed a podcast. And I think I only yawned like two times. <laughs> Oh man. We're back with bags and bags of Zen Pep. That's what we were picking up. And I'm very thankful. Insurance stuff is all pretty smooth sailing at this point, and that is something to be grateful for. I did talk with one of the somebody on the immunology team today because we're trying to get IVIG sorted out, all the details, and um I don't think it's gonna be sorted out. Not this week, but I do think I'll hear an update tomorrow, hopefully. And we got all trace. No, we got Zen Pep. Peter's getting out some dinner. Pulled pork, looks amazing. How do you think we should heat that up? Yeah, what do you wanna do with it? Um, hmm. Two old shriveled pieces of celery. I love celery. Do you? I do. I'm so glad. I love colored peppers. Um, do we have any more buns? Or? Buns, yeah, there's one in there, in the bottom, in the bread drawer, in the freezer. Do you want to do okay. that? Or We're gonna we... make some dinner. Oh, yes. <laughs> the ends are so sad from the last time I chopped it up. So, fresh. Celery. I didn't realize you love celery so much. It's just like a really good, like nothing snack. Nothing like a crunchy colored pepper. Mm. I mean, I guess green peppers are colored as well, but I mean orange, yellow, or red. That's my choice. Peter just sizzled the uh, corn tortillas in the pan with some oil and then heated up the pulled pork and we had some cheese salsa, sour cream, and avocado. And they yes. look amazing. Sweet. The tacos I made a couple days ago were very uh, pepper and onion heavy. It was almost just like a pepper... Pepper, onion... Tortilla. tortilla. <laughs> With a little sprinkling of meat. So we went a little heavier on the meat and I ate the pepper raw. So that's how we did it today. Okay, I'm wrapped up in a blanket. And we just finished our church, like, Bible study on Zoom. Peter's over there making some brownies. Well, I, sometimes you just need brownies. Like, I, I agree. You know? I totally agree. It's kind of chilly. I think maybe the heat got turned down or something, so that was perfect time to turn the fire on. And we know Harry enjoys that. So thanks for joining us today, and as always, we will see you tomorrow, tomorrow for more snugs. Good night. Good night. Oh, nice dance.